Franciscans have been present in the Holy Land for more than 800 years and have been given the mission of guarding the holy places by papal mandate with the bull Gratias Agimus of Clement VI. They are in charge of guarding 55 shrines in Israel, Palestine, Jordan and have been welcoming pilgrims from all over the world to the Holy Land for centuries. Through liturgy, they bring to the local faithful and pilgrims the deep spirituality of the places of Jesus' life, death and resurrection. They also care for the people, the living stones of the Holy Land. The custody runs 17 schools throughout the Holy Land. It also gives those most in need the opportunity to rent housing at a subsidized price. The Franciscans of the Holy Land are also dedicated to dialogue with other religions, which is necessary because of the particular situation in the region. Christians are only 2% of the population of Muslim or Jewish culture. By virtue of the Franciscan spirit that animates them, the friars of the custody of the Holy Land have always contributed to advancing avenues of dialogue with other Christian denominations in the Holy Land as well. The custody of the Holy Land stands by the local people at all times, especially in difficulties caused by armed conflict and poverty. In handling emergencies, it also assists refugees and displaced people in different countries. During the conflict in Syria, the custody has stood and still stands by the faithful and the poor in the cities where its parishes are located. The pandemic was also a significant challenge for the people of the Holy Land and for the custody. Many local Christians are dependent on the pilgrims who come from around the world to visit the holy places. The absence of pilgrims was a great trial, both spiritually and economically. But thanks to international support, the Franciscan friars of the custody of the Holy Land continued to celebrate the liturgies, to care for the sacred shrines and to provide services to people in need. Despite pandemic-related challenges, the custody was able to move forward with important projects such as the restoration work in the Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre. The most recent project is in Cana of Galilee, the town of Jesus' first miracle. A dream for the people of the village to support 300 students. It will be a gift of technology and modernity, a project that needs help to materialize. Please do not be afraid to come and visit the holy places. A pilgrimage is an experience of faith and helps us to grow in faith. We are waiting for you, my dear pilgrims and friends, in Nazareth, in Bethlehem, in Jerusalem, in the Holy Land. Dearest benefactors of the Holy Land, thank you. Thank you on behalf of the Christians of our parishes in the Holy Land. Thank you on behalf of the children, young people who attend our schools. Thank you on behalf of the refugees and migrants uh, who come to us for help. Thank you on behalf of the poor and needy of our communities. Thank you on behalf of the friars who live in the sanctuaries and take care of the holy places. And thank you on behalf of the young friars who are living and studying here, preparing themselves for sharing our mission. Sincere thanks to each and every one of you who have given us your help with generosity in these past uh, three years, uh, despite the fact that they has been so difficult for you too, for your families and uh, your communities. 
Without your fraternal but concrete support, we would not have been able to survive and we would not have been able to support the local Christians of the Holy Land. Thank you, because your hearts have remained open, generous and supportive. And we know from the Holy Scriptures that God loves a cheerful giver. May the Lord bless and reward you. May he bless and watch over your families and loved ones. Thank you from the Holy Land. <laughs>